Welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I will be doing a story entitled Maybelline. Before I go any further, please hit that subscribe button down below, tap that bell for more notifications, and give a thumbs up if you have liked this video. So let's get started. There was once a princess called Maybelline who was very beautiful. She fell in love with a handsome prince, but her father wished her to marry another man. So the prince was sent away. However, Maid Malin said to her father, I will take no other husband but him. Then the king flew into a fury and ordered a dark tower to be built into which no ray of sunlight should enter. When it was finished, he said, Here you shall be imprisoned for seven years, and then I will come and see if you will agree. Food and drink for the seven years was carried into the tower. She was led into it and walled up. She was cut off from the world. There she sat in the darkness, and you not when day or night began. Time passed, and when the supply of food and drink grew small, she knew that the seven years was coming to an end. She thought someone would come and let her out, but no stroke of hammer was heard, no stone fell out of the wall, and it seemed to make believe that her father had forgotten her. In the end, she took a bread knife and picked at a mortar of a wall. She then succeeded in getting out one stone, and then the second, and then the third. And when three days were over, the first ray of sunlight fell into her darkness. The sky was blue and fresh breeze blew, but her father's castle lay in ruins. The towns and villages were so far as could be seen, destroyed by fire, and no human being was visible. Mabel set out to find somewhere to live. After a long journey, she came to another country and went to the royal palace. At first, she was ordered to go away, but at last, the cook said she might be a scullery maid. The son of the king in the Jews' kingdom she had arrived was, however, the very betrothed man to Maid Malin. His father had chosen another bride for him, whose face was as ugly as her heart was wicked. The wedding was already fixed and the maiden had already arrived. But because of her great ugliness, she shut herself in a room and allowed no one to see her. Maybelline had to take her meals from the kitchen. When the day came for the bride and the bridegroom to go to the church, she was afraid and ashamed that if she showed herself in the streets, she would be laughed at by the people. So she said to Maybelline, I have sprained my foot and cannot walk well. Put on my wedding clothes and take my place just for today. Maybelline, however, refused. At last, the bride said angrily, if you do not obey me, I will order you to be killed at once. So Maybelline was forced to obey. She put on the bride's magnificent clothes and all the jewels. When she entered the hall, everyone was amazed by her beauty. The bridegroom taught, she is just like my beautiful Maybelline, who has been long shut up in that tower and may have died. He took out a precious necklace, put it round her neck, and fastened the clasp. 
they travel to church and the priest marry them. The prince led her home, but Maid Malene did not speak a single word the whole way. When they arrived at the royal palace, she hurried into the bride chamber, took off the bride's magnificent clothes and all the jewels, put on her servant's clothes, but kept the jewel that she had received from the bridegroom. When the evening came and the betrothed bride was led into the prince's apartment, she let her veil fall down over her face so that no one would notice her ugly appearance. The prince told her he liked her rich clothes and veil, but said, Where is the jewel that I gave you at the church door? What jewel? she answered. You gave me no jewel. I myself put it around your neck. If you do not know that, that means you are not the true bride. He drew the veil from her face and sprang back. Who are you? said the prince. I am your betrothed bride. But because I was afraid that if I showed myself in the street, I feared the people would mock me when they saw me. I commanded the scullery maid to dress herself in my clothes and to go to church instead of me. Where is this girl? Bring her to me. But instead of fetching the girl, she went and told the other servants to take her to the courtyard and to cut off her head. The servants took hold of Maybelline, but Maybelline screamed so loudly that the king's son could hear her voice. He ordered them to set her free. Lights were brought and the prince saw on her neck the jewel that he had given her at the wedding. You are the true bride, said he. Who is the girl that went with me at the church? I am made believe, who for your sake was imprisoned in the darkness for seven years. Now this, the sun is shining upon me once more. I was married to you at the church. I am your lawful wife. Then they kissed and was happy for the rest of their lives. Thank you. I hope you enjoyed this story. Good night to all the people. Thank you.